Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Casemate Fuel Light for iPhone 3G and 3GS. This sells for $49.99, and it's available directly from the Casemate website. So this is an 850 milliamp extended battery for your iPhone 3G and 3GS that doubles as a soft touch case. Let's take a look at it. Inside the box, you don't get much. You do get the case itself and a mini USB to USB charge and sync cable. That's right here. So here is the actual battery slash case. You can see that it is a soft touch material. It's a little bit slippery in your hand and that's kind of native of soft touch material. And again, it's a two piece slider style. This is kind of the design that most of the battery style cases have followed, you know, similar to the Mophie Juice Pack Air. And to insert your phone, you simply take it and slide it until the 30 pin connector hits the bottom and then it's kind of locked in place. And then you take the top piece and you slide it along the rails. And this one actually has a nice locking mechanism across the top. Casemate always uses the actual logo of their company as a little notch. And actually this case fits better than any of the battery packs I've tried. The Mophie Juice Pack Air, they had a problem with it fitting uh, on the corners or the sides here. This actually fits really nicely. It fits really good. Um, Size-wise, it's a little bit smaller than the Mophie Juice Pack Air, but it's a, that disappoints me. This is about half the milliamps that the Mophie Juice Pack Air is, but it's not half as small. You know, it, it's definitely smaller. It's definitely slimmer um, across the back, but I would expect it to be smaller than it actually is for such a little amount of milliamps. So 850 milliamps, that gives you about two hours additional talk time. Basically, when I let my phone run down to about 20%, I got an additional 50% when I flip this thing on and let it drain all the way down. So that brought me back up to 70%. So you get about 50% of your full battery charge when you enable this and let it go. As you can see on the back, it does have an on-off switch which also doubles as an LED indicator, letting you know um, how much power you have left. There's three LEDs that illuminate to let you know. And then once it's on, they stay illuminated. And you can see now that my phone is actually charging. Um, you can see that up in the upper left-hand corner. Hopefully, if I focus, that it is actually charging. On the bottom, you have a mini USB um, pass through to charge and sync your phone with. Now I was not, not able to charge my phone when this was plugged in. So basically when I had this set up and I connected to iTunes and turned the actual battery on, what happened was I actually was able to charge the case itself as well as sync my iPhone. What I was not able to do was charge my phone. So if you want to charge your phone, you kind of have to do this separate. You got to pull this out, charge your phone, charge the battery, and then put it all together. If you connect to iTunes, again, with this battery on your phone, it's not going to charge the phone, it's going to charge the battery. But it still allows you to charge and sync, you know, with this on. So you don't have to remove the phone if you want to sync with iTunes, which I like. On the side, you've got one large cutout for the vibrate switch and your volume rocker. And in true case made fashion across the top, you've got a large cutout for your sleep awake, your SIM card tray, and your headset jack. The camera lens there is really recessed. You can see how deep that is. And um, again, it's not a problem, you know, taking pictures. It doesn't get in the way. It's just pretty recessed. I did notice every once in a while some dust and stuff getting in there, but not really a major issue. I do like to carry my phone in my pocket, and that's why. One thing I forgot to mention on the bottom, you do have this perforation to allow the speaker and microphone to, you know, come through the case, which is a nice touch. That way nothing gets muffled. As far as the soft touch material goes, it feels real good in the hand. Unfortunately, it shows grease, um, you know, quite easily. Don't know if you can make that out on camera. You probably can. Because it's black, it's not too noticeable, but, you know, the material isn't super durable. It does scratch pretty easily. See if I can get some of those scratches to show up on the camera lens. Um, so, you know, it's a case that is probably going to take a beating. You notice on the front, it does have a small amount of lay on the table design, but you do see all of your chrome there. You're, you know, there's a little lip, but you still have a nice view of the chrome. I actually prefer that. I do like the lay on the table, but I do like to show off the chrome. So I like this look a lot. So all in all, this isn't a bad battery case. You know, if you're not an extreme power user and you don't require 
the you know full 1800 milliamps that something like the Mophie Juice Pack Air provides you and you just need that little added boost you know towards the end of the day this might be a nice choice again it's only $49.99 it's cheaper than most of the other battery packs out there on the market and again it's also less power so that is a brief look at the Casemate Fuel Light available directly from Casemate if you have any questions about this or any other case please feel free to drop me a line otherwise you have a great day mm -hmm.